अब सुनते हैं शौक बी है शौक बी है शेख था पर नजाइ गया आगे खाना है कि बना और गुरु तो खाना और दूसरी बात की फाइसी वाइल कोफे जैक पॉइंट जॉन मगुआ जैक कैमरे और सीनो फाल फाल कैमरे और जी फी ओलंपियन एनएक्सी जालक फी Adam Cooley, Carl Cooley, Donald Keith, and Dylan Ryle.
and we're almost ready to start here. It's the Ryan DH8 final between Balnady and Connor. Balnady, the first to break away with the ball. Ball struck down along the far side. Oh, nice, kind of a short his pass. Collected up here, 15 minutes a half. Connor doing well, striking the ball high, long, up along the field it goes. Bit of a wind blowing here, Parker wind, but the, the, the sunshine is fantastic. Very, very close to the end line there. And uh, referee Shane Scanlon of Inishowen in the Shannon. The Skull Owen in the Shannon has blown the whistle and that's going to be a free out for the uh, Balnady lads. Ball on the ground, out this side of the field is coming here. Who's going to be collecting the ball over here? Collecting Hannah trying to get the ball out. There's good defense back there from Tide Shields and Brian Coakley. Ball on the ground and referee Shane Scanlon says, hang on a minute lads. And uh, a shake of the... Uh, a shake there from uh, Jack Carney, straight away, getting involved in it, straight away. The free to be taken by uh, Everett Hunt, that's Cahill Carney of Kana, going for the high long one down the middle. Al Nadeem looked to be in control there at the back for the moment, ball on the ground, who can get it? A lot of kind of one-handed but good play back there for Everett three from Al Nadeem. that's Shea, Shea Ford. Down along the far wing, all booted, tussling over there. Collected up there is the man wearing uh, number 10 for Kana. That's uh, Olin Sheehan. Ball still stalemate developing. Down along the wing it goes very, very close to the line. Collected up here. Balnady clearing the ball down along the wing again. Blocked forward. Coming here to Ivra Carr. Ivra Carr is Zach Pine. Zach going on a bit of a solo run. Still with the ball, oh good tackle coming in, long high ball in towards the goal. Hannah looked to be in, in charge there and they are nicely cleared out along the goal. Oh it's a brilliant catch there in the middle. Going the ball, two ball, he's on his own, he's still going. Takes the shot, oh the ball kind of, what a brilliant run from uh, from uh, Balnadi point of view from Jack O'Donoghue but the ball went left, the ball went right. The goalie for uh, Kana is Liam O'Keefe out along the wing here. Who could get possession? Balnadi flicking the ball forward there but collected up by the Kana left-handed player. That's the man wearing number 11. That's Alan Keane and Alan shoots it in and shoots the ball over the bar. First score of the game here. Comes to us after uh, about two and a half minutes the score for uh, Connor, that is Alan Keane. The goalie is Peter Murphy. The goalie, Peter, strikes it down high down along the far wing. Balnady kind of win it down. Get away again. Is that Alan again? He's got a left handed shot across the goals. No. Connor looked to be in charge of the situation. They are, or uh, Balnady rather, coming out there. Paddy Coakley. Paddy boots the ball along the ground. Collected on the ground. Gathered up there, very, very close to the sideline. Coming out here near us, the excitement of the supporters. This is a bit like Turles last Sunday. Ball down along the wing, it goes again. Inside of the Canada kind of defects, trying to get it out. Stanley D trying to get it in. Stalemate there, but no more stalemate. Who was coming away with it there for Kana is number 13. And number 13 was Adam Coakley. Along the ground again, flick forward. Here come Balnady again, the man wearing number six for Balnady is Danny Toll. Danny, a left-handed low kind of a shot in towards the goals. Kind of look like they have enough players back and they have ball out into the middle of the field. Up for the Hurleys, down comes the ball on the ground, booted forward in. There's three Balnady players there, one of them is Paddy Coakley. Ball flicked forward again, here he goes, in, heading in towards the goals. The shot, oh it's a brilliant block down. Paddy just couldn't get the shot away. Collected up by Alan Keane. Alan, left-handed, out along the far wing. But Balnady are onto this, like bees to the honey pot. The Shane Scanlon has his hand up. That's going to be a free, I think, but it's a cross the ball. Ball goes wide, but uh, I saw Shane Scanlon there. He had his hand up in the air, and that's going to be a free in. The free in is to Balnady. And uh, just wondering who's going to be the uh, the man entrusted with the responsibility. It looks like Danny Towell. Yeah, Danny will be the free taker. To the left of the goals. Bending, lifting. It's high, it's long, and it's dead straight, and it's over the bar. And levels up the match at one point. He's kind of one point. Down the deep one point.
Puck out coming here from the goalkeeper of Connor. That's Liam O'Keefe. Ball into the middle of the field again. Collected up. Balladie doing really, really well. Crowding the situation. But there is a bit of a, a kind of a pass inside. Flick back out. Alan Keane again. And Alan Keane puts the ball beautifully over the bar. Standard of hurling. Really, really good. Two points to one. Connor going to the lead. Peter Murphy is the goalie. Goes this side of the field again. Ball breaks it side. There's a race for possession here. Pulled in along the ground there by uh, Connor Fuller. He can come away with it. Connor looks to have it. They have it. Down along the wing it goes. Nicely collected up. There's a man all alone. Out here on the left hand side. It's got inside. The guy wearing number 12. Oh, it's brilliantly hooped. Brilliantly hooped. Connor made a great one to Derek Keneally. And the player got the ground, no free yet. Coming back out. Oh, lovely ball all the way across. But the control just goes quite slightly wrong. Who can get possession? Stalemate situation developing again. Booted out along the ground. Valdetti trying to get the ball up. They have it eventually. Coming away here is the man wearing number seven. Jack again here again. Jack. No, in along the ground, but Connor have a cover. What a game this is, absolutely nip and tuck and nothing happening in the referee situation. Trying to come out with the ball, or Connor trying to get the ball in, or Belnaby. Kind of a group situation developing. Out, out, oh, nicely collected up here and brilliantly struck away, down along the wing. Oh, oh what about that for the hoop? Brilliant hoop there, coming in on uh, Paddy Coakley. Ball goes forward again, Balderby have it. The boy is wearing number six, Danny. Danny Cole hits it in low. But Connor looks to have the players back. Never tries to clear it, and they do clear it. It's high, it's long. The goalie Peter was thinking about coming, but it's brilliantly swept up there too. Is that Ty Shields? A lot, a lovely low ball down along the wing. Ty Shields was actually Brian Cole, uh, uh, it was actually Shea Ford. Collected up high by uh, Allen there. Ball battered off, brilliantly battered again. Collected up here, this could be dangerous. Heading in for the goals here is the boy wearing number 12. He's gone in and the referee says, uh, sorry Dara, but uh, you took a, 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 a tad too many steps there. And that's going to be a free out. Time to catch our breath for about 10 seconds, I'd say. What's the score? Two points to one, Connolly, halfway through the first half. The shot maybe wouldn't have gone as far as the Van Lee would have liked, but kind of pulling on the ground. Over along the wing here. Collected up here again. Is that Jack again for us? Yeah, Jack a long, nice ball down along the wing. But the ball goes right at the upright and the ball goes wide. Puck out coming from the Connor goalkeeper, Liam O'Key. He's checking his options. Pucking into the wind really as a well. But that's a brilliant puck out. Oh, super puck out. Gets it out here to Dara. Dara rising the ball, low lifting. Trying to go on a bit of a solo run. The ball was knocked off his hurley. He's got it again though. He's still going. He's still going. Ball about to be met with about a flurry of Balnadine tacklers. Ball broken out along the wing. Doing very well there is uh, Paddy Coakley again from Balnadine. Referee Shade Scanlon is happy enough. Kind of shoveled forward by Balnadine. Trying to get it out. And here they have it. Ah, oh, it's a nice bit of play. Long ball. Hopefully he might get a second chance. One handed flick. Balnadine have enough players back. Acres of space. They'll go long, down along the wing it goes. Racing over, oh it's a brilliant tackle there by the uh, by Ryan Hickey. He just flipped the ball there, of the, the hurley there of um, the Connor defender. Ball across the goal, oh it's brilliant pass. The hurling in this lads is really, really of a high standard. Low ball down along the road again. Good play there from uh, the right full back. That's uh, Tony O'Mahony. And well cleared out the far side again and here they go left handed in towards the goal collected up Balladie trying to get it in Connor trying to get it out Alan Keane coming back there to help out from the Connor point of view he's got the ball and he's early and now he's going away and a nice clearance down along the wing well blocked but here comes Tony Amani from Balladie's point of view a mighty shot, it's got to be really dangerous, 
and it's blocked on the goal line, and it's got in! It's not thinking it in, I think it might have been Luke Egan got the last touch. It kind of spun up in the air, but it's a goal for uh, Vanity, and they go into a 1-1 to 2 point lead. A long one, dropping it side again. There's it, the Connor backs doing really, really well. They're under a lot of pressure. And well cleared. Far side of the feed. Balnady breaking onto it again. Alan Keane, he's got it. He's got two points already. He hits a beautiful ball. Oh, lovely kind of an out in the wall. But well defended back there. Well defended by the Balnady backs. And racing forward there is the boy wearing number five. That's Connor Whitehead. Uh, struck in, brilliantly blocked out. All the skills of the game here. Ball on the ground. Oh, and I think there was a, there was a, a, a referee Shane Scanlon said, "Hang on a minute, lads. There was a foul there. He called the foul. He blasted the hurley. One, one to two points. Here's will this be Danny again? I'd imagine. Yeah, Danny told. We've got a beautiful view of that shot from here. He bends lift." Strikes, puts it in, but it's gone in and gone over the bar, superbly inside the left hand post as well, looking at it. It's a beautiful score, it puts one goal between the sides. Ball out to the far side of the field, Valnady doing very, very well around the middle of the field. They're coming again, the shot coming in, going in, but brilliantly blocked down, Pan out, defending well. Long, ball over the top, it goes again, inside and here come Connor. They're trying to get the ball up. Going back over there, very, very close to the end line, but pulled along the ground, well collected up there. And that's going to be Connor Whitehead. Gets the ball out to the middle. Valnady doing very, very well. And here we go again. Heading it towards the goals. The hand pass. It might have kind of maybe worked out. It doesn't. Hand pass it to Alan Keane, and away we go again. He's heading down through the middle. He shoots low, hard, hit to that top, but he goes low. Balnady have the possession of the ball now. Steady, high, long, right down the middle again. The goal he does absolutely superbly, Liam O'Keefe. What about that for a save? What a brilliant, brilliant save. Balnady kind of collected up, they've got it in the possession of Connor Ford. Connor doing a lot, lot of running there around the middle of the field. It's going to be low, hard to hold. Comes inside again. There it falls to ground. And uh, referee says uh, the uh, Olin Sheehan is uh, guilty of the, uh, the offence, as it were. That's going to be a free in. And after Denny's scoring in the last one, I'd imagine this is going to be another one. He goes for the goal. And he buries the ball in the back of the net. Danny Cole smashes it into the net. And as we're coming up with 13 and a half minutes gone in the first half, it's 2-2 two -two for Valnady, two points for Connor. Ball over the top again. Connor just needs to settle the ship down, but Valnady are very, very strong around the middle. And here we go again. Bale's gone in again. He shot, oh, brilliant save by Liam O'Keefe. And I wonder, is uh, Shane Scanlon giving a free in maybe? Or is it a, a 65? I think it might be, I didn't see the signal from the upper, so that might be a 65, I think. And uh, a bit of helmet repairs and Danny Toll, I'd imagine. Yeah, it looks like uh, Connor Ford got a bit of a tip, uh, a bit of a bang there. So that's going to be a free end and it's going to be Danny Toll. He's going to go short. They've got all the tricks in the book. Maybe he, with his level of striking, he'll be better off taking it in. But here we go once more anyway. Coming across, this is Jack O'Donoghue. Jack shot is kind of blocked on, but it worked out. Cross the goal inside and knocked over the ball. Jack O'Donoghue really involved there. As uh, Liam O'Keefe is going to take the puck out. Where will he be going? Ball down the far side of the field. Collected up and Balnady have just really thundered into the game. Here they go again. Back inside. That's Jack there trying to get his hurley on the ball. Back out here it comes to the ball yarding number three, Shea Ford. Shea Ford getting the ball in, but 
Hannah coming away and referee Shane Scanlon says Sinewell done killed Lamb showing over Barker in half time here in Barker in it's 2-3 for Ballinadi two points for Connor and we're here to go again second half Ballinadi winning the ball the boy in the middle of the field there is Danny Cole Danny a left handed high long shot ball gone right to the upright and the ball gone wide straight away into the attack two goals and three points Ballinadi two points Connor this is Liam O'Keefe and Liam gets a mighty puck. You can see the strength of the wind there. It's high. It's all the way in. Tony Manny coming out with this for uh, for the Ballon D lads. Striking the ball low down along the wing. Danny gets his hurley on it. Ball tackled over there. Good tackling by Zach Pine. Sean McGuire over there as well. But here comes the boy from Ballon D again. Heading in towards the goals. Hurley, ball on the stick. High. Oh, it's brilliantly caught at the back there. What about that for a catch? And struck clear. Connor hoping to get an early score here to kind of settle them down. But it's Balnady coming. Oh, beautiful flick inside again. Oh, and a brilliant tackle. The standard of Hurley is unbelievable here. You know, if you don't get it the first time, you're going to be probably gone by one of the attackers or one of the defenders. Coming out along the ground there. The boy wearing number 13 over there. That's uh, Adam Coakley for Connor. Trying to get possessed of the ball. Inside again. And looking to clear it. Out it comes along the wing here. Oh, what about a, a doubler in the air. Was that, uh, was that, I think that might have been Shay Ford. It's not often you see that kind of skill. Brilliant. Could we follow on? Connor trying to come down along the wing here. Collect it up. And here come Connor. Lovely ball. Struck across the wing. Hurley's going chat in the ash there. Ball on the ground. Doing really, really well there. Isn't he? From, uh, from uh, a, a, a Connor point of view, is Olin Sheehan. He's still going, trying to get the ball across. Ball got the ground there. Tussling, as it were, down along the ground. Collected up here. And this is the boy wearing number nine. That's Oisin Feeney. But Balnadi looked to have got possession of it. And they have. Out along the far side, it goes again. Sprayed wide. Connor getting the ball forward. There's tussling for it over there. Collected up in here, and here come Balnady once more. Hand pass into the middle. This is Danny Toll. Danny will his shot, a mighty shot, but the ball gone right at the upright and the ball gone wide. Score remaining the same. Two goals and three to two points. This is Liam O'Keefe. Liam strikes the ball down along the middle, it goes over the heads of the kind of midfielders there inside again and here come Connor as they try and work the ball forward again but collected up there is that Shea Ford the man who's going on a bit of a solo run he's got the hole of Parker in ahead of him he lines up the shot it's high it's long but it's gone right and it's gone wide once more two wides there for Balnady in a row but good play nonetheless Connor still in the game they just need to get a score down along the middle it goes collected up here who's going to get it again the Balnady backs doing really really well there in their kind of half back line area Connor players gone to ground collected up this is Danny Toll Danny with the ball going backwards going forwards long high ball in towards it goes again Connor look to be in charge good play over there and left handed struck away there but it's going to come back in again and here come Balnady the shot coming in, it's high, it's long, and it's gone in, it's gone over the bar. And was that the boy wearing number seven? I think it is. Jack O'Donoghue doing the business off his left over the bar. Two goals and four to two points. Short is put out from Liam O'Keefe. He's obviously looking for the run. Collected up by Jack O'Donoghue again. Loads of energy, loads of skill, loads of ability. Oh, kind of a one-handed flick inside. Ball got to ground, still going inside. Look back inside and it's into the net. From a Balnady point of view, brilliantly flicked into the net. It was the boy wearing number four from Balnady, Paddy Coakley. A beautiful kind of a flick. Nothing Liam O'Keefe for anyone to do like that. The ball back of the net. Goal for Balnady. Three goals and four to two points. Connor doing their best to try and come back into this. Superbly coached over there by uh, Shamie Farrell. 
the men from uh, the Carrick Tool County Championship in 2011 and of course won in All Ireland for Cork way back in 1999. This is Balnady coming forward. Their coach Jacinta O'Callaghan there, she won a, a, a Shkida Skull medal for Summer Cove back in 2000 and uh, you can be counting the years after that but this is Kana coming forward. Shot coming in from Allen but the ball goes right and the ball goes wide. Ball gone right, the ball gone wide, and uh, the wind having an effect here as uh, we're watching. Uh, you know, as we said, Jacinta there with Balnadee, she's done a superb job along with Irene Toomey and Lorraine O'Mahony, the coaches. And uh, this is Alan, puts it in and puts it in and puts it over the bar. Good score. As we said, uh, Shawnee Farrell played with Cork in 99, Ronan Clancy, Aoife O'Brien. I mean, all of these coaches have given tremendous commitment to, to their schools and to all the coaches who coach these teams down through the competitions and may not be here today. A tremendous debt of gratitude is, uh, is due to all of those for taking it in their time to do it. We'll go back to the game. This is Connor trying to come out with the ball and they do come out with the ball. They're three points. Coming over the far side again is this Jack O'Donoghue again, heading down along the line, brilliantly blocked down again. And uh, into the corner it goes. Balnady trying to get it in, Connor trying to get it out. Comes over here, this is the boy wearing number seven. A shot, and it's into the back of the net again. Jack O'Donoghue arriving like Batman onto the scene, smashes the ball into the back of the net. And it's another goal for Balnady. A short kind of a puck out. Collected up here. Connor won't be giving up or anything like that if we know anything about them. Good bit of skill there from uh, number 15. That's Sean O'Keefe. Did well getting the ball forward. And here goes Allen trying to get forward. He takes a shot. And it's in the back of the net. It's in the back of the net. Brilliantly goal from Alan Keane. They won't be giving up, we said. And we certainly believe that. Smashes the ball into the back of the net. Great, great goal. What have we got? There's plenty of time yet. Six minutes gone in the second half. High ball. And here come Connor. Really going forward. Tyke Shields, Brian Coakley, Zach Pine, Sean Maguire. Ball down along the wing. Getting the ball up. This is Tony O'Mahony. Tony's got the ball. Very, very close to the line. Out over the line. And that's going to be a line ball. I'd imagine it's to Connor. Tony's got the ball, but I think that's going to be a, a, a Connor line ball. And uh, Alan Keane heading over to take this. We've seen him hit points, we've seen him hit goals, and now we're going to see him hitting a sideline. Oh, beauty! In it goes, but it's going to be, it looks like Balnady are in charge, and they are cleared away by Paddy Coakley. High, long, high ball. The striking of both sides is really, really impressive. Ball on the ground. Who can come away with this? Ball brilliantly blocked down, as we said, over the far side there. Lovely strike across the goal. Liam O'Keefe comes out and does really, really cleverly to win the ball and kick it forward. Ball was struck across there by Ryan Hickey. Into the space it goes again. And they be trying to get it up and the referee says that's going to be a free in. I think it might have been Luke Egan was fouled and I'd imagine this will be Danny Toll territory again. Yep, Danny lining it up. Will he be happy with the point? I'd imagine he probably will. Yeah, shoots it in. And the no, but it's gone to the left and the ball has gone wide. And this will be Liam O'Keefe. Liam, what a great puck out that is. Right into the hand there. And this is uh, coming forward here. This is Alan again. He's heading forward. He strikes it in beautifully. It's across the goals. It, 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 and you'd be thinking, when he, the way he struck it, the ball would come in with the wind, but it didn't. Too much of a straight strike, I suppose. But the ball went left, and the ball went wide. Goalkeeper, Peter Murphy. Going out this side of the field. Oh, a lot of bit of space here. Can they keep it in? No, they can't. And uh, Connor Ford, kind of a, a bit, a tad disappointed not to make it. 
Cahill Kearney putting the ball down. Moving for the line ball. Going down along the wing it goes. Al Nidhi trying to get onto it in the person of Shea Ford. Doesn't quite get it. Ball on the ground. And here comes Alan Keane again. Alan the scoop. One handed swing. Kind of almost gets it. And uh, there's a, a flash of a yellow car there. Shea Ford, the man who was uh, the injured party as it were. And uh, Val Nidhi have kind of steadied the ship after that Alan Keane goal. And uh, they lead by four goals and five to one goal and three. It's going to be a free and uh, Danny Toll I'd imagine will be the, the striker and we see the, the subs coming in. I see Luke Egan taking a break, he certainly contributed. And uh, just check around there, it looks like uh, maybe Kean Footman has come in. The ball has gone in, the ball has gone wide, it's 65, I think the defender got a touch. Yeah, Kean has come in there from a Balnady point of view. Just check it around and uh, changes being made there as well from a, a Connor point of view. Well, coming in there from a Connor point of view, I think is number 14, Cahal Toomey. This is Danny Toll. That's all the way in. And that's gone in and gone over the bar. And it's another point for Balnady to stretch out the margin a bit further. And it's looking very, very good for Balnady now. Four goals and six to one goal and three. This is Liam. And a brilliant puck out again. Absolutely measured almost. Going back for this though is uh, Shea Ford. And he's left. Ball on the, on the stick. Going on a bit of a run. Up along the wing. Still going. Still going. Still going. Gets the ball back inside. It wasn't Shea Ford. It was actually Connor Whitehead. Back inside again. This comes to Connor. A low one across the goals. Liam O'Keefe is the man. And does really, really well. Gets the ball out. Danny Toll arriving on the scene. Gets a kind of a flick in. And ball on the ground again. And here come. But it's outside again. That's Jack O'Donoghue. Uh, ball across the in. And over the bar. Number seven. Jack O'Donoghue. Smacks it over the bar. Really, really good score again. High puck out. What about that for a puck out from Liam O'Keefe? Certainly played his part. Back into the space it comes again. It's kind of a holding situation there momentarily. But can I have it? Ball in along the ground. Can they? Heading forward, heading for the... But it's just one of those days. The, uh, the kind of player flicked it up. But the Valdez player was just on hand to get it. Good ball out along the wing. Comes over here to the boy wearing number eight. That's Connor Ford. Connor, right-handed. Across the pitch to the uh, one of the lads who's just come on there. But Connor coming away and doing well. Low one down along the wing it goes. Into the open space it goes. But unfortunately for Connor, that space is filled by Connor Whitehead. Hit to the middle, it goes again. Is that Jack O'Donoghue heading? Heading off again. Looking for someone. Ball across the goals here. It's on the ground. This could go anywhere. And uh, referee does really, really well. Or uh, the goalkeeper, Liam O'Keefe, did really, really well. As they'd say in the Aussie rules, shepherding the ball out wide. Here's Liam. Pucks the ball out. Right down the middle it goes. Ball broken away again. Balnady in, in charge. Coming forward. Danny Toll. Danny wearing number six. Danny with the strike. Putting the ball in. But the ball goes left and the ball goes wide. One of the Balnady players gone down the middle of the field. Is that Danny? Yep. And Liam O'Keefe. Or maybe it was at a late tackle. Maybe, yeah, maybe a late kind of a tackle. Danny Toll putting the ball down. What's he going to do here? Will he be happy but try to tap the ball over the bar? He will. Puts it in and puts it over the bar. Good score. Another score for Van Nidhi. Lots of changes being made on both sides. I see the boy there wearing number 11, Kieran O'Callaghan, is on from Balnady. Far side of the field, but anyway, we'll follow the play. Ball down along the goals. Here they come, trying to get the ball out. Low along the ground there, that's from uh, number 14, John Ford. 
Over along the wing it goes. Valnady about to cheer this one. We're, we're coming in. We're in the last minute of normal time. Up along the wing here. This is uh, number four there. That's uh, Paddy Coakley. High, long. Puts it in and puts it over the bar. Really, really good score. Valnady really, really strong. Really, really good score. Four goals and nine, Valnady. One goal and three for Connor. Ball out to the far side and Connor, here they come again. Not giving this up by any means. Low. Ball out along the side. And it's going to be cleared again by Valnady. Ball down. And the referee, Shane Scanlon, says Simpson have broken in. The final score here in the DH8 hurling final is victory for Valnady on a score of 4-9. What a gallant warrior team Connor were. Never gave up, gave it everything they had. They finished with one three. Pove Rome, La Cana, Ach, Pogardis Moor, La Balanadine.
Right guys, down now. Right guys, all in the room, there you go. Here we go. Okay, anyway, right. Perfect, Jim. You want to stay out, right? 